Dad, today we're talking about one of the most important battles a dad will ever face, battling your inner coward. This fight is what separates the average dad from the kind of father your family truly needs. Have you ever found yourself avoiding tough decisions, procrastinating on self-improvement, or holding back from the challenges because you're afraid of failure? We all have. But what if I told you that defeating that fear, battling your inner coward, is the key to being a better dad, husband, and leader of your family? John Lovell talks about this in his book, The Warrior Poet Way, and we are diving deep. Let's get started. First, what do we talk about? What do we mean when we're talking about the inner coward and that concept? Well, when John Lovell talks about it in his book, which I highly recommend, by the way, I'm gonna put a link to the description below for that book in particular, but what he talks about an inner coward for being a man, it's that voice in your head that tells you to avoid discomfort, to settle for less, to give in to laziness or not challenge yourself. We in our society today have become so complacent. Life is really very easy for all of us. Most of us work at a job where we're on a computer all day, we're on a phone, we don't expose ourselves to pain and to challenges. And that lulls us into this complacent mindset where when there is discomfort, especially physical discomfort, we shy away from it immediately. And that's a challenge because we want to be able to facilitate and embrace that pain and move forward so that we can do better for our family and for our kiddos. And when we're talking about it specifically for you and me as dads, it may be difficult to put off maybe something like a difficult conversation with your spouse or skipping that workout because you feel tired and you don't want to get out there and you want to feel uncomfortable about it. Um, or something like this inner coward, it can show up in different ways, but the result is always the same. You get missed opportunities for growth and leadership within your family. And if you embrace this inner coward, what are you going to be and where are you going to be both professionally, as a father, and as a husband in one, two, three years time frame? What were your visions for life when you were in high school, when you were in college, and where are you now? And what decisions are you going to make now, either embracing that inner coward or pushing through it, and where do you wanna be in three years? And that's really the key to this entire component, both from a family perspective and from a professional perspective as well. So when we're talking specifically about why battling your inner coward is essential, really there's three components that I wanna talk about here in particular. First is how that can impact your fatherhood activities and your marriage. So if we allow fear and complacency to guide our decisions, we're not showing up as the strong, decisive leaders our families need. So when we allow those decisions to come through, let's face it, our wife, she wants us to be the man of the house she wants us to be the leader of the house and oftentimes mostly we are the breadwinner of the house so if we allow that fear and complacency to guide our decisions we're not going to continue to raise up to that level and just as importantly with kids i have three kids an eight a six and a two-year-old girl those challenges are really going to come into play because they're looking at their father as the guide for the way that they should be in their life. And if they see a father that doesn't take and lead and embrace the challenges that come to them, that's definitely gonna be a challenge for them and they're going to follow suit with what um, uh, that father is doing, right? So the second component to this is to discuss how personal growth equals family growth. Right, So when you talk about this in particular, we battle our inner coward, we become more disciplined, more confident, and more present. This in turn makes us better fathers and husbands. So when we take on a challenge, even if it's something as small as starting a workout regimen, we can now become more disciplined in that, which just makes us more confident in our bodies. And that allows us to feel more confident and present in our daily lives. So when your kids are pulling on your coat, asking you to answer a question, you can take and appreciate and acknowledge the discipline that you've had for the day, get down to their level, and engage with them and answer their questions so that they can see, I have a father that's much more confident and present with me, 
and that allows them to uh, open up and be more engaged with you. So something to definitely keep in mind. And then finally, from this component, when we're talking about how this can be relatable for us, right? I know for me, I wasn't, it wasn't until I started facing my own fears and weakness head on that I realized just how much I was holding myself and my family back. I've got a story about that here in just a second. But in particular, when I was challenged with coming off of being a full-time professional firefighter for 10 years, I ran multiple recruit academies. I was in the best shape of my life. I was running emergencies. I went from that and I went to the private sector. That lulled me into a sense of complacency where my fitness suffered, my professional development suffered, and during the lockdowns of 2020, I felt pretty useless. So what I started to do was just one small thing. I started working on my fitness in particular. I didn't feel like I had enough time to work out, so I just started tiny, right? I did 10 minutes of cardio. I did 10 minutes of uh, actual um, muscle building workouts. I started that. I built the discipline to do that once and then three times a week. And now I feel bad if I miss that. And those little things like I talked about earlier will start to build on themselves so that you can have more confidence and more presence with your kiddos. So that was the challenge that I faced when I started going through it. And that's something, a very small thing that can help you to move forward as well. So the third thing that we wanna talk about are the practical steps. Let's get tactical here to start battling that inner coward that might be present with you. Now, if you're perfectly on top of it and with it, more power to you. Put in the comments below how you're doing what you're doing so I can learn from you. For those of us dads that want to improve and build and have more confidence in the things that we're doing, both professionally as fathers and as husbands, here's some of the three things specifically that you can do. First, acknowledge that you might have a little bit of an inner coward in you. That's the first step to really moving forward. Once you are simply aware, you recognize when you're avoiding something or you're letting fear win, that's the first step to say, all right, this is my challenge, this is what I need to do, and I can start moving forward by taking small, number two, small, bold actions. And this is truly key, start small. Whether it's initiating that hard conversation with your wife, or committing to a 10 minute workout, take those little steps that push you out of your comfort zone. I had this challenge with my wife just the other day. We've been kind of back and forth, just nitpicking on each other quite a bit. And finally I said, all right, I need to explain myself. This is not going to be comfortable, but I need to let her know why I'm feeling challenged in this situation as our relationship was in that tiny, tiny season of life. It wasn't an easy conversation, but I gained the courage to have that discussion so that we could push forward and continue to improve upon that small component of what was challenging our relationship at that point in time. So things like that, things like taking on those workouts and just doing 10 minutes of cardio and 10 minutes of muscle building, those small little things take small, bold actions will really pay significant dividends. And the final, the third step of getting this process going is to build discipline and confidence once you've taken those small steps, right? So with every small victory over your inner coward you'll build momentum that momentum leads to confidence and discipline which are essential to leading your family and this is so incredibly important right as we begin to move forward with a lot of the challenges that I look back on in my life over the past three years I was in a position personally, as I alluded to earlier, I had been in the fire service, it was absolutely fantastic. I moved to the private sector, which I absolutely love. But when I'm looking at being 40 years old and spending the next 20 to 25 years in the private sector and retiring with my 401k and missing the very finite seasons of life that I have with my kiddos, dad, think about it. If you have a kid right now that's an infant, you have 18 seasons left with that kiddo before he or she leaves the house, then that time's completely gone. Sure, you're gonna have time to hang with them, but the season of life when they are in your house, the lessons you're instilling in your child, the experiences that you have with them are so finite. So when I was looking at this 
prolonged experience of being in private sector and deciding what do I want to do? Well, my primary goals in life are one, to support my wife, give her the things that she needs before we had our children and love her like we have and had before we had children. Two, to be the best father possible, to instill in my boys in particular values so that they can move forward in life and take on the grand challenges that we are going to face in our society. I wanted to be able to be there for the kids. I wanted to be able to take them to school, to pick them up from school, and to instill those lessons in them without having to live that corporate lifestyle. So I took a huge leap. I had an inner coward in me where I was very concerned and scared. I want to start a YouTube channel. I want to talk to other dads like you, like me, and like your peers, and I want to help to improve upon this world from a father's perspective so that we can all improve and continue from there. Trying to start something like that was an absolute beast. It was a challenge, and I felt like I wasn't good enough to do it. So I just pressed record, and I just started the process. That was over a year and a half ago now, and this continues today so we can have our conversations now. But boy, was that a difficult challenge, and every single day, that coward comes up in me when my wife says, why are you recording another video when you need to be doing this? When my boss says, I need you to work a little bit harder. Those are the challenges that you need to rise up, decide where you wanna be in the next two to three to five years, and make the conscious decision to push forward with that. And that was the challenge that I faced, and that's the challenge that I continue to pursue. And I thank you for joining me today from that perspective as well. And then finally, fourth, the stakes. What happens if you don't fight? What happens if you let your inner coward win and you don't move forward with what your vision for your life is? Well, that picture as painted for me is really a challenge because if I don't battle my inner coward, it will control me. It will keep me and potentially you from leading, from growing and from being a better father to my kids who will one day look up to me. And this is something that's so darn important because the cost of not facing this battle in a high risk, becoming passive in your role as a leader in your family and your kids, it won't see you as being a strong role model that they need. So when your kiddos are watching you, they're watching the decisions that you make, they are learning from that and that is now their baseline. And they will either continue along the path that you've taken or they will follow you and learn from you when you take risks, calculated risks, and when you push forward with the things in life. So from the perspective of really what I want to try to do and you know, hopefully that uh, what you can take out of this is, where do you wanna be in the next 12 months, in the next three years? If you wanna be somewhere other than you are right now, embrace that, push forward with it, make a plan, do everything you can to improve your life and improve your status where you are now so that you can accomplish that goal. It's gonna be challenging, it's gonna be painful. You only have 18 seasons left with your kiddos. That's something that drives me every single day. That's why I'm talking to you today. That's why I really appreciate you joining me. So this is absolutely something that I'm truly passionate about. So finally, from the perspective of what I think you should do today my challenge to you is what small action can you take today to start battling your inner coward? Maybe it's doing that workout that you've been putting off or having that tough conversation with your wife. Whatever it is, resolve to start that path today and battle through with that. What do you do? How do you challenge yourself to either push forward with the things that are uncomfortable and challenging. Put those in the comments below. I would love to hear from you specifically, and more importantly, I would love for our fellow dads to read those comments because I'm sure I missed a ton of different stuff. Let's have that conversation in the comments below. And if you are listening to this on podcast, if you're able to rate and review, that would be great as well. Either way, I appreciate you listening. And if you're interested in more things specifically about this, specifically John Lovell in particular, Check this video out right here. I did a great video on an interview he did about the father wound, which is profound. I think you'll like it. Thank you for spending your time with me today. I'm honored you would spend some of it. Have a good day. Thanks.